Hey guys, what is up? Missed you another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Firestarter on your Amazon Fire TV Stick or TV Box even after the latest update. Stay tuned, I'll show you how to get it installed. Okay guys, to get started, you need to make sure you have the ADB debugging and apps from unknown stores to allow to uh, be allowed. So go into your settings and then jump into system. Once you're in system, you're going to go into the bottom where it says developer options and make sure those two are turned on. If not, you will have trouble in the rest of this video. While you're there, also make sure to check your IP address by going to the network and you're going to make sure you jot down your IP address. And then you're going to go to the link which I will provide in the description below which will have the link of how to get the newest ADB uh, tool on your computer. I will also provide a Mac one down below if you're interested. So you're going to download that and you're going to run it on your application. Whether you have Mac or Windows, it doesn't really, really make a difference. This is just how to get the actual ADB application installed on your computer. You're going to get this blue screen. You're going to say Y to the first option, which is ADB and Fast Boot, and hit Enter. And if you want to install system wide, you're going to also say yes to that as well. And then for the last one, for the device driver, you're going to say no for N then you're going to get the all done notice. Once that's done, you're going to open up command prompt. If you're on Windows, of course, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be different. Uh, by opening up CMD, searching on your computer, you're going to launch that. And what you're going to do right now is to check that the ADB has been installed correctly. What you're going to do in the command prompt is type the following command, which is ADB version. Once you have ADB version, it'll tell you that what version you have. If you get a reply from ADB version, that does mean that you have ADB installed correctly onto your computer. Now, the next step is, of course, is we're going to go to the downloads folder because that's where the Fire Starter application was downloaded, which is also in the description below. So make sure you have the AP key also downloaded it. And by default, it'll go to your downloads folder. Uh, as you guys can see right now, if I go to my downloads folder and check, for Firestopper, that's like the code name for it, firestopper.apk. Uh, that's where you want to go to. So what we're going to do from here is we want to actually start the ADB server. Now to do that, we're going to type in ADB start dash server. Once we do that, we'll get a couple of replies saying that it's now running successfully on your computer. And then the next command that we have to run is the following command, which is the ADB C-O-N-N-E-C-T, so ADB Connect, and you type in the IP address of your Fire TV stick. This is going to tell the uh, program to connect to your Fire TV stick, and once you do it, it'll say connected to your following IP address, which is your Fire TV sticks, and just run ADB devices, it'll show the list of devices currently attached to this session of ADB. Now, once you do that, it basically means that your ADB is connected to your Fire TV stick successfully with no issues. So the next command is we actually have to go ahead and install the APK onto your Fire TV stick through ADB. We do that by doing ADB install, and since you're already in the directory of where the APK is, you're just going to type in the name of the file. In this case, it's called firestopper.apk, as you can see, that's what it's called right there. Once you actually uh, type in that command, you're going to go ahead and hit enter, and once you do, uh, basically it's going to take up to 30 to 60 seconds or more depending on internet speed. You're going to get the reply saying that it's been successfully installed once you see success with an explanation mark. Once you do, that means it's been loaded to your Fire TV stick with no issues. Now jump back onto your Fire TV stick, go into settings, and then once settings load up, you're going to go into your applications, and then you're going to go into the managed install applications and you are going to see the application which is now installed which is called Fire Starter. It's only called Fire Stopper in the APK because that's the code name to trick Amazon because Amazon has actually blocked Fire Starter the APK but the Fire Stopper have not but it still loads as Fire Starter. As you guys can see this is a third party launch tool which basically gives you a much better interface for the Fire Amazon Fire TV stick. As you can see, I do have the latest version, and it's pretty simple to navigate. I prefer this over the Amazon's default uh, login screen. It looks much like the Android box. And if you actually go into the settings and scroll down to the bottom, you can see Startup Application. You can actually, by default, it's already set to, but Firestarter will launch as soon as your 
Fire TV Stick reboots, or to, if I go ahead and reboot my Fire TV Stick by holding down the uh, the play button and the home button, it's going to go ahead and start to reboot. Once it turns back on, it will automatically relaunch Fire Stopper, as you guys can see. I have sped this up, so by when it actually reboots, it might take up to a minute for Fire Starter to actually load. It will load to the Amazon default screen by default, but it'll still go back to, the, as you guys can see, voila, going to Fire Starter. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.